I'm now here outside the exhibition hall with IDF President Sir Michael Hurst. Sir Michael, thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. So first of all, just take us through a little bit about this year's conference. What are people focusing on specifically? Well, in Melbourne, we've been able to introduce a number of important innovations. We are, for example, uh, having a special stream on Indigenous peoples and, and the challenges that they face, not just in Australia, but in New Zealand and Americas and other parts of the world, are going to be explored in a way that we've never done before at a Congress. And that's important because the prevalence of diabetes in these communities is a multiple sevenfold what it is uh, of other people. Um, we have uh, a lot of attention now also on gestational diabetes, upon the health of the mother and the unborn child and the, the fact that the mother's health is absolutely vital in passing on the risks of uh, diabetes to her unborn child. Uh, that is receiving a lot more attention. We have had a meeting in Melbourne of parliamentary champions in diabetes from all around the world, culminating yesterday in the Melbourne Declaration and an intention by parliamentarians to work collaboratively on the key issues affecting diabetes. Let's talk about location. What's the thinking in bringing the conference back to the Western Pacific region? The Western Pacific region has more people with diabetes than any other region uh, in the world. And it's not just that the numbers are huge and growing in China, they're large in many of the other countries in the Western Pacific as well. So if you like, it's a diabetes hotspot and Melbourne was uh, thought to be a, a suitable uh, location because of the excellent convention centre here. Uh, and the sheer welcome, the warmth of the welcome from people in Melbourne, that's important because people have to have a destination that they actually want to go to. So tops for Melbourne. I think in addition what we're really delighted about is that the Australian government has recognised the importance of action on diabetes and we're pressing all governments everywhere in the world on this. The Australian government has the, been the first positively to respond in setting up their task force under Professor Zimmet and Judy Moylan, a former member of parliament, with a very distinguished record of campaigning for diabetes in the federal parliament. So we're excited that we're starting to see the dividends of our global advocacy work. Now we're only at the beginning of your presidency. What will the next two years hold for the IDF? Well, the importance of the next two years is that we're responding to the big challenges uh, on a global health policy basis. We're framing at the moment, uh, the world is framing the successors to the Millennium Development Goals. The post-2015 development framework is very important because that will set the agenda for development around the world. We believe that diabetes is not just a health issue but a development issue because the majority of new cases being diagnosed are in people of working age in low and middle income countries. And if these countries are going to experience the economic growth that has been experienced in your country and in mine and which is their legitimate right to aspire to it, then we've got to keep people of working age healthy. And it simply isn't acceptable that four-fifths of new cases are in low-income countries and half of these cases are in people of working population. That is the wake-up call to all the countries to take the action on it because it is a development issue as well as a health issue. We certainly wish you all the best with this year's conference. Thank you so much, Sir Michael. Thank you.